Calm Down TV. Calm down before we shut this bitch down. Hit that subscribe button. Now, I know a lot of people are like, man, just ask her the question, when are you going on making the band? <laughs> How did that come about? What was your, I mean, we've seen some reaction on social media, mm -hmm. but tell us about that situation. Okay, so when I found out that he was bringing making the band back, I was like, oh, okay, cool. Um, I looked up how you can audition and stuff, and they said you have to upload videos, and you have to use this hashtag. So I went on Twitter, I uploaded videos. One of my videos went viral on Twitter, too. And I think making the band, they seen at least two or three of them that I posted, because I kept on doing mm -hmm. different covers and sending them in and submitting them. And I would tag Diddy in them, and I would tag making the band in them. And I did it on Instagram, too. And I had my followers tagging them there, too. So they had seen me off of Twitter and Instagram. Whenever I got the email, you know, that it was like, you think you would be a good candidate for the show. And I had to call the producer, you know, that reached out to me. And um, she was just like, it's still a process, you know, I gotta go through, of course. Yeah. But I got a chance of going on the show. And oh, yeah. we start filming in January. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh yeah. You ever been to Cali? No, I've never been to Cali. You excited? Yeah, I'm excited. Oh, it's yeah. gonna be an experience, for real. What's your um? What's the process been? Or the, uh, how you been kind of preparing yourself for it? Cause I know you for something like that. Life kind of you like I gotta do stuff differently from what I was yeah, just about yeah. to be doing. Yeah, yeah. Like drinking I mean, more water. Yeah. <laughs> you just gotta prepare. It's like you gotta prepare yourself mentally mm -hmm. more importantly to me, like mentally, cause. People look at it and they're like, yeah, you got a chance to go on TV, you got, that's another thing, you know, you don't know what that's going to be like, you know, yeah. you know? but um, definitely I would say like preparing myself mentally has been um, the biggest thing for me because I, I feel like I know what I'm about to walk into, you know, I'm confident in myself 100%, mm -hmm. it's just like mentally keeping my sanity and stuff too because I'm not used to that much attention either. So. Yeah. But you know, good things, positive vibes. I'm trying to like stay at social media, not do it as frequently, so I can yeah. you know just get my mind on the right track. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you ever watch uh, Making the Band growing up? I've seen a couple clips. Yeah, <laughs> you were young for Making the Band for, because when I was young, is when it was really popping. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I got like almost 10 years on you. 2000s. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, you got any favorite reality TV shows? Mm, I used to watch Love and Hip Hop. Mm -hmm. I used to watch Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, New York, and Hollywood. Oh, Love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Back when I was in school. No Bad Girls, because they still got a lot of Bad Girls yeah, Club and stuff. I used to watch that too. Bad yeah. Girls Club. I don't think they showcase them anymore. No. What are, you, what are you watching TV in the Power, Empire, what's all that? What's, uh, what's really, you? I be watching Netflix on the movie nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> all the little shows on there. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, before music, what were your dreams? Did you like I always know you wanted to be a, a star? Or did you want to be a doctor at one point? Or what was Kiara's dream just growing up? Okay, like in school. I always saying, but I didn't really like know what it was until now. Like, you know what it really is. Mm -hmm. I was like, um, whatever. You know, I was running track, going mm -hmm. cross country. I was into sports, so I was, you know, focused on that. And then, um, mm -hmm. what was the question? What was your dreams? Like, where'd you want to be? Did oh, you want okay. to? Yeah. I wanted to go to college. Like, yeah. um, when I was a freshman in high school, I wanted to go to college. I wanted to go to an art school. Yeah. But like, you know, once I realized, I wanted to go for music, but I also wanted to go for um, digital, you know, fashion, okay. fashion designing, okay. um, all of that. I wanted to go for that. Yeah. I, I know you keep, you, you always keep some uh, nice shades on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you mentioned fashion. Who are maybe some of your favorite fashion designers or some of your favorite brands or whatnot? Let's see. Fashion designers, favorite brands. Um, I like Sephora. Mm -hmm. I like Chanel. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. You know, um, exotic looks. Um, yeah. Tiana Taylor, she inspired by Madonna. Yeah. Um, what else can I say? Just, just I don't really wear a lot of designer stuff though. Right. But, like, um, right. I'm pretty much Urban Outfitters, Grand yeah. 21, Dance. I like to do a lot of shopping. Yeah. Looking around, but yeah. Okay. Um, you mentioned having stage fright at one point, but what kind of helped you develop getting over that? Was it the poetry? Was it music? Was it talent shows? What, what kind of helped you get rid of it? I think it was really more of a, like me becoming comfortable with myself. Like it wasn't necessarily what everybody else was thinking. You know, it was what, what I was thinking when I went on stage. Yeah. Like, cause I realized. I'm the reason why I'm giving myself this unnecessary and anxiety right now. Right. You know, I just need to chill and have fun. And that's really, you know, where I got it. When I became more comfortable with myself and I, you know, learned to love myself, that's when I was like, okay, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. You have a, like, once you, if you record a song or you write a song, do you got a go-to person that you let hear it? To see, like, to judge it, or just, like, so just hear it for the most part. Yeah, I have a couple people yeah. I like to, but I, um, you know, I have them check it out, yeah. opinion, their feedback on it. Yeah, uh -huh, for sure. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, how do you like recording? Like, do you like the studio to be dark? Do you like to be a lot of people? Just you? What's your, what's your preference? I do like to have like shades on on the studio. <laughs> I do like the lights, you know. But yeah. I um I love to be in the studio though because you know to me that's the creating part. That's the fun part. Yeah. You know, you can make some of the weirdest noises. You can do whatever. Yeah. But if the engineer can put that shit at the right spot at the song, that should be fun. But yeah, like it's just yeah. like the creating part. That's my favorite part. So you know. Okay. Um, People wise, I don't mind people being in my session, but I don't like people being loud okay. at all. <laughs> like, <laughs> like it's gotta be quiet. Calm down. Yeah. Really. You got a um time or a place where you feel like you write the best music or get inspired to write or come up with better ideas? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, I like to really isolate myself whenever I'm at, you know. Like sometimes I can write like being in the house with people. Sometimes I can go in my room and write, you know, but leaving the house to me and going to like the nearest lake or something. The water, you know, or just calm stuff. Chill. Yeah. Being into a quiet spot, I really like to do that. Go to the library. Yeah. Okay. Um, any dream stages to perform on? Yeah. Like? Dream stages. Like, is Definitely it Coachella. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely performing at like a lot of music festivals, Coachella, um, eventually Bonnaroo out here. Yeah. I've been to Bonnaroo. It was fun. Um, yeah, um, definitely the Bridgestone out here. Yeah. <laughs> that should be cool. <laughs> Sold out. That's the Bridgestone Arena, um, Staples Center, you know, yeah. big time places in LA. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, you got a dream home? Like any place that you dream to move into or no. living at? <laughs> no. Like I know some people are like, oh, I'm gonna get this mansion. No, I'm like the type of person to get like a loft apartment. Yeah. Something low key. <laughs> Let's say you get signed though, and you just get a good lump sum of money that you know you ain't got to work and do mm -hmm. too much of a whole bunch right now. You know what I mean? What's the first thing Kiara gonna do? I mean, is it getting a, you got is it a dream car, a dream look, vacation, or something? Yeah. <laughs> How's the first day gonna go like though? What am I gonna do? Yeah. First of all, let's see. Probably a vacation. Yeah. Like, you said, yeah. <laughs> going to around the world, traveling, um, getting around the world, traveling. I definitely wanna like tell my mom she can retire, tell my grandmother she can retire. 
and you know, pay their bills for them. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's life after music? After music. You know, say so you done done this, I live this big, beautiful music life, tour the world, all that good stuff. What do you want to do after music? Or do you want to do it fast? I want to start my own clothing brand. <laughs> design and fashion, like I said, I'm really into that. Um, you know, I would like to have my own brand. I could be, look, hell, better than Yeezy. You never yeah, know. <laughs> but, mm -hmm, definitely, I would do that. I would have a, another career. Right. And there's other stuff I could get into doing, too. Or, like, possibly go back to school, you know? Yeah. You know. Okay. Uh, I know you got a lot going on. I ain't gonna hold it. But can we expect any albums or you feel EPs or something to come? Yes sir. Um, this winter, for my 20th, I'm putting out my first project. It's going to be a listening party. It's going to be, you know, a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. gonna, that's going to be my first project. And it's going to be good. Yeah. <laughs> this is a good content right here. Okay. Um, after that, I'm going to drop a mixtape with just me, you know, doing a the poetry, the rapping. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's gonna be a lot of. So stuff. are you gonna get some more rapping? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. Uh, I thought you <laughs> just you fed and finessing us for a little bit. Oh. So we're gonna get a lot more of that. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Any features we can expect? Or we just gotta wait on. Oh yeah, well, I mean, it's a lot of features I've been doing. You know, okay. people reaching out, not necessarily me reaching out. Well, I mean, yeah. I reached out to a lot of people. I mean, but that's on your project. That's on my project, yeah. Yeah. They're more like an underground crowd. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, anything you want the fans to know? Uh, any mm -hmm. shout outs you want to give? Uh, shout out to Calm Down TV for having me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. Look. <laughs> yeah. Well, I appreciate you for coming. Thank you for having me. Y'all make sure y'all follow Kiara the Kiara. <laughs> See, I got excuse me, I got a sister name, Tierra. So Kiara the Soul Child. Y'all follow her on Instagram. Y'all subscribe to my channel. We out. Calm down, TV. Calm down before we shut this bitch down. Hit that subscribe button. Hi, I'm Kiara Soul Child, and I'm rocking with Calm Down TV. Y'all didn't know what it is. You know what's going on.